So dear students, welcome you all to our morning session on foreign exchange, determination of exchange rate. So this is very important for finance student to know about uh, foreign exchange. Why this is important? Because when we go for international trade, so without foreign exchange knowledge, it will be really impossible to involve yourself uh, with international trade. When you go for import, you go for export, you need to convert one currency to another currency and that are the subject matters of foreign exchange. So first, what is exchange rate? Simply define anybody. What do you know about exchange rate? Just let me know what is exchange rate? What do you mean by exchange rate? You have ideas from other courses. So anyone can define what is exchange rate? the amount of money that is required to convert one currency to another. Yes, so exchange rate is what? When we write Taka 85 per dollar, what does it mean? It means to get a foreign currency, how many units of home currency we need is known as exchange rate. So you see the two have one unit of foreign currency one unit of foreign currency. So to have one unit of foreign currency, how many units of home currency we need? And that is called exchange rate. So to determine exchange rate, we divided these two, three exchange rate. One is known as what I have written. Direct. So direct. Direct or direct. So we have direct exchange rate. The second one is indirect exchange rate. And third one is cross exchange rate. Uh, my handwriting is not that much good, but I'm seriously trying to uh, write perfectly because you know that I'm using the tab. So it's really. Uh, sometimes difficult, sometimes it's faster than me and sometimes it's slower than me. So I need to adjust. So when we talk about direct exchange rate, what we need to keep in our mind. The first one, how many currencies available here? When we are talking about exchange rate, how many types of currencies we have? This is known as this is known as foreign currency, yeah? Yes. And this is? This is? Local currency. We say home, home currency. currency. So you see the one, we are talking about exchange rate determination. So when we are talking about exchange rate determination, it's related to two currencies, foreign currency and home currency. So direct exchange rate indicates an exchange rate between foreign currency and home currency. What it is? When we are we are we are we are writing taka eighty five per dollar, so we can say home currency bar. foreign currency for, for easy understanding. Home currency par foreign currency. This is called direct exchange rate. You see, what do we did? The first one is TAKA 85 par dollar. So you, said, you see, TAKA 85 par dollar. Easy to understand? Do you find it difficult? TAKA 85 per dollar, or it means home currency per foreign currency. Is it that much tough or simple? 
No, sir. Simple, sir. Very good. I want to listen this one. And you should have enough energy to say yes, no, or you must have energy to participate in our discussion. Uh, that will make our discussion very lively. Uh, otherwise, you see that I will not get any feedback from you. And, and uh, I, I, I can't understand exactly uh, what will be the right way to go ahead. But it's, a, it's fantastic. So direct means home currency, power foreign currency, remember it. And how can we are displaying this? So simple Taka 85 per dollar. Now, what is indirect exchange rate? For this, I'm just using same example, this one, I'm converting these to indirect exchange rate. How? Just, just follow this. What I'm doing, you see, I'm writing dollar, then one by 85 par taka. What I did? You see, taka 85 per dollar. Now I want to know how many units of dollar we need for one taka. So what we did here, Abra, what, what we did here, Abra, Abra, what did we do here? What it is, it's just like this. One way to like per home currency. Yes, foreign currency per home currency. Home currency. So now we have learned how to determine. Now we have learned how to determine indirect exchange rate. What we did, Taka 85 per dollar, and we just change it because uh, uh, you know the cross multiplication from your school, you have learned mathematics. Have you heard cross multiplication from right-hand side yes, to left-hand side, yes, left-hand side to right-hand side, can you remember? Yes, sir. So what we did, we just converted Taka 85 per dollar means one by 85 dollar per tax. So we need this knowledge for converting one currency to another currency. We need these concept, we need these concept. We must understand this to determine price of international product, uh, to determine profit from selling uh, in different markets. Because when you are producing in Bangladesh and selling in Europe, then you see that you have two different currency. You are producing in Bangladesh. You are using Taka here. Everywhere is Taka. But when you are selling in England, that is pound. Or you have a, a, a different situation. You are, you, you are the owner of a company uh, situated in Bangladesh. So that is Taka. You are producing in India. That is rupees. But you are selling in USA. That is dollar. You see that you are from Bangladesh, Taka, you're producing in India, rupees, you are selling in America, that is dollar. Now you must have the knowledge of direct exchange rate, indirect exchange rate and cross rate. But I have used three currencies here, Taka, pound and dollar. But we say exchange rate related to two currency, foreign currency and home currency. So why I have used three currencies here. So this is home currency and both are these, these two currencies are foreign currency for us? Yes, sir. So when we determine exchange rate of rupees what is the base currency base currency is taka and when we determine exchange rate related to dollar what is the base currency base currency is taka so based on taka we can determine exchange rate between rupees and pound or if we have a 
straight in between pound and dollar. So both are foreign currency based on taka. So we can say we can determine dollar per pound or pound per dollar. So both currencies are foreign. So when we determine exchange rate between two foreign currency based on home currency or a third currency or a base currency, then that is called cross exchange rate. Cross exchange rate means foreign currency par foreign currency. So both the currencies are foreign. But how we are determining this exchange rate? We have a third currency behind these two currencies. What is the third currency? Is Taka. Sir, can't hear you, sir. I, I'm not talking. Okay, sir. Now, I thought it was a network problem, sir. Okay, sir. No, no, no. Now I will explain more. Third one. What's the third one? Cross, 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 cross. That is very important. So I'm going to explain third one a little more. What was that? That is cross exchange rate. So what I say. Here, both currencies are home currency or foreign currency? I'm asking you. So foreign currency. Foreign currency. So what we say, cross exchange rate. Here, we have home currency, Taka, and we have two other currency, foreign currency, one is dollar, and another one is pound. So we want to determine exchange rate between dollar and pound, considering a third currency or home currency taka. So when we want to determine dollar per pound or pound per dollar, and that is cross exchange rate. For easy understanding, we say is foreign currency par foreign currency. So you see that dollar also foreign for us. So foreign currency, pound also foreign currency, par foreign currency. But you must keep in your mind, you can't determine exchange rate between two currencies automatically. So you need a base currency, you need this one. So you are determining dollar per pound based on taka. Now we need to understand this mathematically. So be attentive now. I will show you how to calculate cross exchange rate. And you must need this calculation to determine price, to determine profit, to determine cost, to determine exchange rate between two foreign currencies. Now I'm using example. Suppose you are given, you have taken this information from a bank that today's exchange rate is taka 80 per dollar and taka 120 per pound. So you have taken this information from your bank that today's exchange rate is taka 80 per dollar and taka 120 per dollar. So this is direct exchange rate. This is what direct exchange rate because we know that home currency par foreign currency is direct. So you are given to direct exchange rate. How you have collected this? You have collected this information from your bank. And based on this, you can determine exchange rate between dollar and pound equals to what? Or pound and dollar equals to what? How can you determine? We have already learned how to determine indirect exchange rate from direct exchange rate. How can we determine? 
if taka 80 per dollar, we can convert this to one by 80 dollar equals part to taka. or part taka. Yes, we can say part taka. So what will happen here? One by 120 pound per taka. Am I right or wrong? Right, sir. It's the same calculation. What we have learned earlier, direct to indirect. If direct is taka 80 per dollar, use the cross multiplication concept. And then you have dollar one by 80 per taka, one by 120 pound per taka. Now you see that just remember your mathematical knowledge, right hand side. This is left hand side. This is left hand side. This is right hand side is taka one, taka one. So if right hand side, both right hand side is taka one, can you remember? Can we write dollar one by 80 equals to pound one by 20? Can you yes, can sir. We write? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just remember if taka one equals to one by $80, if taka one equals to one by 120 pound, can we write like this? Dollar 180 yes, equals sir. pound one by 20? Yes, absolutely, one sir. We can one by 120? Sir. Yes, sir. So do you find it's really tough or easy? So easy, sir. Okay. Now, follow me. Now, what can we write, you see? So, dollar one equals to what will happen 80 divided by 120 is it all right can you remember sir, this can, mathematics can we explain sir how uh, 80 by 120 you see that this 80 is here so if you transfer these to right hand side so these will automatically move to the upper side here. Okay, because sir. Got it. Got it, sir. You are keeping dollar one, so the eighty will jump to right hand side, and here it was in the, in in the divisional part, in the lower part. So that it it will move to the upper part here. It's it's mathematics that you have uh, learned from your school. So anybody help me? What is the result? Eighty divided by one hundred twenty. Put your push your calculator or a zero point six six zero point zero point six six. Now you can easily write. How can you write? You can find out the answer of this pound per dollar. Yeah, so we can write zero point six six pound per dollar. It means if you want to get one unit of dollar you need 0 0.66 pound. And you see that we have determined this cross exchange rate using third currency, that is our home currency or base currency is Taka. You see? So we have taken the support of Taka to calculate exchange rate between two foreign currencies. Using same concept, can you write like this? Dollar 120 by 80 equals to one pound. Can you write it? Just you see, keep your dollar one pound here and these will jump to that side using our cross multiplication concept. It will be dollar 120 by 80 equals to pound one. Is it all right? Yes, all right, sir. So give me the result. So 1.5, sir. So it's $1.5 per pound. That is, we have got the answer of this question as well, this one dollar per pound so we have 1.5 dollar equals to one pound so these way direct indirect and cross 
help us to determine different exchange rate. And using this concept, using this concept, we can solve business problem. Very important, direct, indirect, and cross. Because most of the exchange rate you have from your bank are direct exchange rate. So if you want to gain from exchanging currencies, if you want to make money from exchanging currencies, that case is you must have the knowledge how you can determine two currencies, two foreign currencies exchange rate using direct exchange rate. So what is the way convert direct exchange rate or go for indirect exchange rate using direct exchange rate information and then determine cross rate and you can find out exchange rate between two foreign currencies, what should be. So if you find that your calculation shows that exchange rate should be dollar 1.5 per pound. So now you can understand what's the rate available in the market. If it's higher than or lower than your determination, then you can utilize this knowledge for making some money using the concept of direct, indirect, and cross exchange rate.